Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time joining me, either on my um, weekly Facebook Live um, in my group Stamping with Kim Dent, or if you're joining me on uh, my YouTube channel, which is also Stamping with Kim Dent, welcome. My name is Kim Dent, and I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 21 years, and I have loved it just like I did, or probably even more um, than when I joined. Um, I have so much to share with all of you. I have um, swaps from my trip that I want to show you. Um, I've got some promotions that I want to share with you that are uh, brand new with Stampin' Up!, and I've got a, uh, at least one, possibly two. Hey, Carol. Hi, Jill. If you're, if you're tuning in, um, please comment um, so that I know that you're joining me tonight. Hi, Gail. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Valerie. I wanted to make sure <laughs> two weeks ago if you were joining me on my Facebook Live. <laughs> that was crazy. I was live on my personal page and not in our group, but I did get some nice comments from some cousins who, um, and some pe from people at church, even my pastor, who commented about the Facebook Live. So, hello, Sally. Thanks for tuning in tonight. So, that was kind of crazy. So, I made sure tonight that I was in the right place at the right time. Hello, Jan. How are ya? Go Cardinals. Woo! That was exciting, huh? Oh, Sally from, hi, from Columbia, Missouri. Well, like I said um, earlier, the reason that I didn't, uh, I wasn't live last Sunday as Rick and I were uh, driving back from New Orleans and I was down there for a leadership conference that began on Thursday evening. And then we had classes on Friday and Saturday and then we drove straight through, hi mom, on a uh, Sunday, we left Sunday and drove all day. We had a wonderful time. Um, for the short amount of time that I was there, I ate a lot of good food. <laughs> and I would go back if my, if uh, Mary, um, Hasna, if you're watching, I would go back in a second just to eat the food that I ate. It was so good. I um I didn't get to visit. We only got to do one touristy thing, which was on Thursday afternoon when we arrived. Um, we went to an amazing, it was the World War II Museum. If any of you are ever down that way and you have a love of history, um, definitely, definitely take time to visit it. it and take more than just a little bit of time. Rick and I only were, we were there for just a couple hours and um, I, there were still, I think, two or three more buildings that we didn't get to. Hello, Claudia. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so that was the one touristy thing that I got to do. But if you watched or if you were on, um, if you've been following me uh, in my group, you know that um, one of the things that Stampin' Up! Uh, surprised us with on the last night, we were told they were going to have a... Um, I can't remember if it was called like the final night party. And we were told that we were supposed to wear at this final night party um, comfortable shoes and cool clothing. Cause, and I, uh, that was one thing everybody was warning us, you know, about the, the heat and the humidity. And I will say, and I'm proud to say I did all right. Um, it is, at least while we were down there, it is similar to um, St. Louis. Maybe a little bit more humid, but I did all right. Um, but during this final night party, we were going to have hors d'oeuvres, and then they said make sure, sure to wear cool clothing and comfortable shoes. And in my head, I kind of thought, I wonder if it's going to be one of those fancy parades. And it was. The party, it kicked off. It was about 6.30, and they um, all of a sudden, oh, we came in, and they gave us parasols, which you probably have seen me, a masquerade mask, um, a purple, I got a purple feather boa, and beads, of course, and um, when we had just started getting started, and we're talking, you know, talking to other demonstrators, and all of a sudden, a big, I guess you would say big brass Band, the, the guys in the white jackets with um, the tuba was the first 
guy to come in. And so one of the gals, Janet Wakelin, if you're familiar with Stampin' Up, she lives down in New Orleans now, and she knew exactly what to do. And so they let us, we followed her. It was a big line. There were five, about 525 demonstrators, then plus the employees and Shelly and Sarah. We got in this line and we made our way out of the Marriott onto Canal Street. But as we were leaving the... Um, the Marriott employees, um, uh, Marriott employees were handing us beads so that we could throw. So I thought this is going to be bigger than I thought. And then as we exited the Marriott, a high school band joined us. It was big and they closed down the, sh the streets. There were people coming out and I was throwing beads. It was, it was very cool. It was a very, very cool experience and a great way to end our uh, leadership conference. So. Fantastic time, and I hope to make it back to uh, New Orleans someday because I want to see more of the sights and eat more of the food. And we did have beignets, so that was that's what all my friends have been asking. Did you have that? We didn't get beignets from Cafe Du Monde, which is I think the but we Rick uh, the Sunday morning when we were leaving ran across the street to a place called Cafe Beignet, and. Um, Got a, two bags full, so we ate those on the way home. And then I also had um, beignets, which were delicious. They were um, little beignets with like apple and caramel drizzled on the top. That was the first night that we got there. We had a sweets and swap, and that's the swapping that I'm going to show you. Um, they had pralines and lots. I told my mom, they also had vegetables, but I didn't bother myself with those. I went straight to the sweet stuff. So, um, hi, Karen. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. So, anyway, thank you all. Um, we had a fantastic time, and I've got so much to share with you. So, hold on. Let me sync my laptop and tell me, comment below, if any of you have ever been to New Orleans. I would like to know. And what is your, oh yes. Oh, Gina, Gina, yes. And I wish I could have spent more time with you. The pralines were so good. I went back twice for the pralines. They were so delicious. Oh, you were there, Sandy? Brenda, yes. Oh my goodness. So, so uh, Rick got to go to the Superdome on Friday night. Um, and he uh, was so excited because they had a um, preseason game. So he got, he, he wanted to go to at least see it, but he was actually able to buy a ticket for $5. He's been telling everybody $5. It was up in the nosebleed section, but he has, he has the memory of now being there when an actual game was taking place. And it is humongous. It truly is a super, super dumb. <laughs> um, and we were not far from it. So we were actually on Canal Street. That's where the Marriott was in the French Quarter. Oh, yeah. That's, I, we do, Gina. I would love to spend a weekend with you. That would be so fun. Gina is my buddy, my traveling buddy. We've been on trips together. And we just got to see each other for just a minute or two down in New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, only been to in the New Orleans airport. Well, yeah, Sally, you would you would love it. You would absolutely love it. So maybe Stampin' Up will take us back there someday. But it was oh, and next year it's Las Vegas. So I'll be heading to Las Vegas next August. So I hope hope some of you can join me. All right, I think I'm there with my laptop. I'm Gavin. You can tell how much, I think I'm there <laughs> how excited, how excited I was about it, and uh, just being with the demonstrators. Oh, some a demonstrator posted the recipe. Well, we I will have to look that up. Gina was there in high school a long time ago. Oh my goodness! How about that, Miss Gina? What instrument did you play? Was it the flute? Let's see, I'm going to move my laptop over. So I have, I'm glad you're tuning in tonight, Gina, because your swap is one of the first ones I'm going to show. It's so beautiful. Oops, sorry about that. I have a million and one wires here. So I'm going to turn my um, camera down. And I'm going to start showing you some swaps. And I, I made 50 swaps. Um, 
but I decided tonight I'm not going to show you all of them. Oh, you were major rat and you played the clarinet. My daughter played the clarinet too. So um, how fun was that, I bet. All right, so hold on. I'm going to flip it down. Give me a sec. <laughs> Let me get all synced up here. And then I will start showing you the beautiful swaps that I received. Swapping, for those of you who don't know what that term is, it kind of sounds strange. Um, we, when we go to special events, Stampin' Up! events, or even my team meetings, we, uh, swap, we make cards. Like, I made two different kinds of cards, so I made like 25 of each. And then we, we go up to people and we say, will you swap with me? Will you swap? That's how the swapping comes in. So it's um, cards or three-dimensional items. So this beautiful card, this is from my Gina, who's, who's watching tonight. Isn't this gorgeous? Gina, you did such a beautiful job. And I, um, I want to show, I didn't realize this till I took it out of the cellophane, uh, or the, the, meat, the clear envelope. Look at how pretty on the inside. So that's my friend Gina, and she lives in Waynesville, Missouri. And I love this. I love this card. It makes me, I don't have this set, and it makes me want to get the set. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to try to go quick because I have a lot, but I want you to see it so you can appreciate it. So um, this is an embossing folder, and they took um, the, I believe, the craft white pad and just lightly went over the mossy meadow. And this is from Martha Armstrong. She lives in North Carolina. Look at how pretty the inside of this is. So she actually embossed the card base. Can you see that? There's no separate layer. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, hello. Hi, I saw Murph go by. This one is from Amy Story. So you see a lot of these are from the mini catalog. And look at this fanciness. Mir uh, Amy is from Texas also. This opens up like this. She's from Grover. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. This is from Lisa Brown. I thought I had it confused. Lisa Brown. She's from Grover, Texas. Amy Story is also from Texas. Let's, there's that. I thought this was really clever. This one, isn't that pretty? This is from Linda Minton. She's from Indiana. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. Nope. This one, oh, so pretty. There's that beautiful um, leaf, 3D leaf embossing folder that's soft succulent. And then that's copper embossing powder. And this is from I her little card, but oh, here it is. She is she wins the prize for the fanciest business card. This is stamp with Lisa. Her name is Lisa Smith. So isn't that pretty? Oh, Cheryl, don't you love this? And it's like pearlescent. <laughs> this one is Donna Moss. Isn't that different? and beautiful, gorgeous grape. There's that pretty, um, I can't remember the D name of the DSP, but isn't that pretty? And the border, this is from Nancy Panduku. I think that's how she says it. Maybe Panduko. This one, oh, some of you might recognize this person's name. This is Dina from Dina Rikau, the Creativity Cave. And look at, isn't this an interesting? This is uh, Bermuda Bay, crumb cake, and very vanilla. She is so, she is so, she is definitely creative. She's one of those million, she's coming up on two, two million um, in sales, but she has a definite um, style. And I would have never put for this pumpkin card, I would have never used Bermuda Bay, but I love it. I love it. And then the gold sequins. 
Oh, this one's gorgeous. This is Robin, sorry, Armbrecht. She's from Springfield, Illinois. Isn't that beautiful? I love those apples. And I don't have it. And I think I need it. <laughs> so pretty. This one, oh, this was a sweet surprise. I thought, this is a really thick card, but look what it does. It has a little piece right here, and it's a calendar. Look, I can turn that off, it's September now. So I might just have to set this up right here in my stampin' area. Isn't that, let's see, and it's from Tracy Langley. Wouldn't this be cute? My friend Lynn Zerby, who I think is watching, she does big calendars um, for her friends and family with Stampin' Up! products and dies. And so this is just a nice smaller version of that. I think I, I think I might have to make some of those for little gifties. Here's another one of the apples and that pretty gingham cottage paper. This is Amy Stories. She is from Denton, Texas. That should be easy for me to remember. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna turn my light over here so you can get up. I think so too, Cheryl. I think they are. This one was fun. Look at this one. And I wish I could spit out the names really quickly, the stamp sets, but I don't know them all by heart. <laughs> this is from Betty Weesbrick, maybe? Weesbrick. Lots of little pieces. Lots of work went into this. Embossing. This is that um, iridescent. It comes in that pack with the red. The red um, glitter paper. Cute little snowman. You got to have snowmen for Christmas time, don't you? This one is from Celine. Um... Kempton. She's in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, buy the apple bundle. I know. I think I have to. I have to. Oh, here's another one. This is from that same set as the snowman. Same die set. Look at how sweet the inside is. This is from Karen Davis from Terre Haute, Indiana. This one is from Linda Pittman. Love the colors. That's that's very pretty colors. Like I, I just thought they were. And then when I opened it up, look, is that pretty? This one is clever. This is from Janie. Um, I think it's Janie. Here we go, Janie Becker, and it's a fun fold. With how pretty this one is. That's with the blending brushes. You just ordered the snowman. I've got it, but I haven't used it. This is from, oh, this is from my friend Stephanie Flath. She's in Michigan. She's in Wyoming, Michigan. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. So pretty. All right, I'm going to do a few more. I want to show this one. This has um, the vellum. Um, I think it's the snowflake vellum paper behind it. These are the Aspen dies that are in the mini catalog. I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you, or I might, I'm, I have two cards ready for tonight, but, um, one of them is one, uh, one I'm definitely going to do cause it's a new technique. The other one uses the Aspen dies, but I might not get to it cause I'm Gavin so much and it's already 20 after. Um, I noticed this. Oh, I wish I had a Oh, I know. This is from, her name is Carrie Buckham. She's one half of the two big girls crafting. And um, I have a feeling, look, her card, I don't know if Jay, uh, if Carrie is from like South Pacific, but did you notice the card's a little bit larger than in, uh, the A2 cards that we make. But I love this. How simple is this? And so elegant. Do you love it? I do. That's a beautiful Christmas card. All right. So enough. Uh, oh, 
Yeah, I did, Gina. I I did get the Aspen die when it was a celebration item, and it was one of those things, like always, you know, you look at it and you think, oh, I don't need it, and then you start seeing cards, and I I I got it. But the good thing is, oh, I have one more to share with you. Um, the good thing is... Um, you can still get it in the mini catalog. I looked it up for a friend today for Shirley, and it is thirty six dollars. Um, so here's here's a little story that I wanted to tell you. Um, when uh, the first morning that we sat down um, for classes, um, I am as uh, sometimes as starstruck as the rest of you. And we sat down at the table, and I'm mingling. And when I came back to the table. This sweet little box was at my spot along with two people. And I'm sure if you're, you follow blogs um, or um, you follow Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, this sweet little box was at my spot in the Paper Pixie. <laughs> Julie, Mat De Julie DiMatteo, is that how you say it, Sally? Um, was sitting next to me and next to her was Lisa Curcio. And so I just want to show this. She was so sweet. She gave everyone at our table one of these. And these are two pieces. Uh, her, I think these are hugs. And then look at this. She said she got this from Amazon. <laughs> it's lip balm. Isn't that adorable? And I heard Lisa, I wasn't eavesdropping, but I did hear her say, like, do you, I believe she buys items and then she makes the box around or the three-dimensional items around it. Thank you, Sally. D. Matt Ao. Matt Ao. Hey, Paula. So anyway, I was a little starstruck by the, uh, there's, I mean, you're surrounded by, I, you know, you could probably spit out a name and, um, and they were probably there at backstage, but it was so, I was like, felt like so honored that she sat at my table next to me, and I got a little gifty. I got a little swap from her. So thank you, Julie. <laughs> anyway, that's my little starstruck story. All right. So um, the next thing I'm going to tell you about, which bear with me. Oh, thanks. Yes, me too, Jan. Yeah, they are quite, they're very, very talented women, very talented demonstrator. Oh, that's what she does shop. Thank you, Sally. She shops first. Julie shops first for these adorable little gift items, and then she makes the 3D item to go with it. Amazing. Amazing. I wish I had that gift, but I do not. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's very talented, and I love watching her. Okay, I want to tell you, I'm going to lift this up a little bit. I want to tell you, so Stampin' Up! this past week, we have so many new things going on. I'm going to try to go over quickly. Um, I want to remind all of you that World Car Making Day is going to be October 1st. Um, I've posted it, but the fun part about this year is they're going to have a virtual event. And if you would like to be a part of that, send me a message and I will send you the link to sign up for it. Um, there's no cost, so that's very cool. If you would like to craft along with them on October 1st with Stampin' Up, they're going to be using the Cottage Rose, the Cottage Wreaths, and this brand new bundle, Warm Welcome. Um, if you order these three between now and I believe it's October 1st, yeah, by October 1st, you get a freebie, which is those beautiful iridescent pearls. This warm welcome was just released. These are in, this is in our uh, mini catalog. This is in our annual catalog. This just came out, and I just want to show you, if you can see on my, on the camera, it's a stamp set, a big set of dies, and it is $50.25. It, the stamp set is adorable. I love stamp sets that have like little bitty pieces and lots of words. So if you're interested in this, $50.25, if you order it between now and October 1st, you'll get a free set of uh, little iridescent pearls. The next thing I want to tell you about is this is another new promotion, Perfect Partners. 
This is available from September 1st through September 30th. Very exciting news that there's that Apple, the Apple Harvest stamp set that I was ooing and owing, owing and awing about. That they came out with dies. There are six sets that um, they have made the coordinating dies. The exciting part, another exciting part is they bundled them. So if you uh, don't have either the stamp set or the dies, you can bu bundle and save 10%. The one thing, the one die set that I had to have because I have the stamp set, but I was still able to buy the new die set. So Trim, tree trimming dies. I was very excited because I'm going to use this for one of my Christmas cards. But the stamp set and dies, there's the apple blossom from an apple blossom dies that goes with the apple harvest, $53. Fresh cut flowers and fresh cut stem dies, $50.25. This one is a, a, a very popular one right now. This birthday piggy. <laughs> And the Playful Piggy Dies, $48.50. There's my favorite, Trimming the Tree and the Tree Trimming Dies. If you bundle it, $46.75. The Yeti Dies, Yeti to Party. This is of, um, in the mini catalog, and it's $41.25. And then this one, and I will tell you that I'm highly intimidated by it, the Waterfall Canyon, that's in the annual catalog, Look at the die set. 31 dies. I know Lynn Zerby got them. Um, I am not I am not hosting an event, Sally. That's a good question. I'm gonna be watching um I'm gonna be watching Stampin' Up. Oh, am I doing it as a group? No, but that's a fantastic idea. Hmm. Let me see if I can find out if um I'll work on that, Sally. Let me see if that date's available at church or at the, for the fellowship hall. That's a great idea. I'll work on it. Okay, so the next thing I want to tell you about, um, the weekly deals. Stampin' Up! used to have weekly deals, and now through the month of September, from the 1st through the 28th, there are going to be items this week. There's 12 items that are put on sale. And oh, here's my chicken scratch. I'm going to tell you what they are, but if you're interested, um, Splendid Day DSP, that's uh, normally $15. It's on sale for $12. The Craft Note Cards and Envelopes, normally $10 on sale for $8. Brush Brass Butterflies, I need to stock up on those. Um, they're at $10 on sale for $8. The Classic Matte Dots, $7 on sale for $6.30. Summer Shadow Dies, they're on sale for $27.20. Brush Metallic, he adhesive back dots on sale for eight dollars and ten cents the craft gift boxes on sale for eight i know this i have this customer and she buys so much um gifting from us i'm not i'm going to contact her because i know she is going to be so happy that these are on sale um the craft six by six paper on sale for four dollars and eighty cents the round and square brads, six dollars and ten cents. The linen twelve by twelve on sale for four dollars. Is that no? Maybe I don't know if I wrote that right. I'm not sure about the price on that one. The pale papaya ribbon, six dollars and thirty cents, and the so snowfall accents puff paint on sale for three dollars and sixty cents. But every, um, let's see, was it every from? It's the the first. Then a new set will come out on September eighth, the fifteenth the 22nd, and I believe on the 28th um, will be the last one just for the month of September. So that's very exciting. If you're placing orders, make sure you check out the weekly deals because it's always nice to stock up on items, especially when you can get a bargain. All right, that's all. Whew. Now on to the card. All right, the card that I'm making, I'm going to, I have never demonstrated this. I'm going to T uh, show you a new technique. This is called the Joseph's Coat Technique. And I'm sure some of my demonstrator friends who have been with Stampin' Up! a long time, I'm sure you all have done the Joseph's Coat te Technique. Um, it it looks beautiful. I feel like um, with, thank you, thanks Gina, um, it looks beautiful with the Soft Seedling um, stamp set and it really is so easy to do it's kind of messy but um 
it's well worth it and thank you I'm glad you think so so here we go this is the stamp set soft seedlings I love it I love it I I, I feel like oh thanks Gail I feel like <laughs> You know, people will say, um, you know, we have so many leaf stamp sets. I don't care. They're all beautiful. <laughs> and I have to have them. So Soft Seedlings, it's got uh, Thinking of You, So Grateful for You, and Hello. I'm using um, Not, I'm using, what is it called? Go, go To Greetings for the Happy Birthday. Because I have a couple of birthdays this week for some very special men and I decided to use this for their birthday cards <laughs> so uh, the kit is let me move this out of the way we're going to take our card base is Cajun Craze it's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and one four thanks everyone you're going to need a piece of very vanilla this is your inside piece you're going to need a piece of early espresso, three and three fourths by five. This is the piece that, oh, and I did not write the measurements down. <laughs> or maybe I did. Hold on. Hold on. I did. This was my spare in case I messed up. Very vanilla. This is the piece. See, stamp on this. Three and a half by four and three fourths. And we're going to use a piece of gold foil copper paper and I love it and you can see this is one of the tips that I want to share with you so since this is a four by five and one fourth piece of copper foil I didn't want to waste it so these leaf this there's two leaf dies um, they're from the aspen tree dies I cut out the center and I'm going to layer it this is going to go on top of it. So see, that's why I didn't want to waste. So I've got some beautiful copper, uh, copper leaves that I got from a bunch of them, you can see. But there they are. Look, they're not only cut out, but they're also um, embossed. Isn't it gorgeous? So that's one of my tips for tonight. If you're using, whether it's a large piece of DSP or any of the like the gold or the all of the foils if you're using a large piece make sure you take advantage get out those dies whether it's your label dies or you know shapes like this and then you can just keep them like in a, I have a little container in with my stamp sets and I you know I can pull this out like it would be easy for me to pull out and make a quick card because the work is already done the one thing that I want to remind you is this is my boo-boo boo piece. I don't know if you can see it. You have to make sure when you're cutting pieces out like this that you don't go too close to the edge. So my early espresso, I got frustrated because when I, I could have slid it, but to center this piece, the early espresso on top of the copper foil, there's a little bit of the stem sticking out. So I did it again. So that's another little tip. Make sure you don't go too close to the edge. And then the other pieces that you need are, you need a piece of very vanilla. Here I got fancy on you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Sally. Craft is six by six. It's on sale for 480. You get 20 sheets. Thank you. Um, okay, the very vanilla. This is 11 sixteenths by three, or if you don't want to use those crazy measurements, or if you don't have one of these handy dandy Victor easy read rulers, <laughs> you can use three fourths by three inches. And I'll tell you why I did that. And then my um, copper foil for my little banner piece or layering piece, this is 15 sixteenths by three and one fourth, or if you don't want to do the crazy measurements, one inch by three and one fourth. So there's all your pieces. I'll let you take a picture of them before we get started. All right, are you ready? So t t comment if you have never heard of Joseph Cote. And if you haven't, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> all right. 
I am going to take, this is my three and a half by four and three fourths, and I'm gonna bring out my blending brushes. And the colors of ink I'm gonna use are Mango Melody, Early Espresso, Old Olive, Pumpkin Pie, and Cajun Craze. Aren't they pretty? If you love fall like I do, these, aren't these lovely colors? <laughs> they are lovely. So what you need to do, I think I'm gonna put my, pull up my camera just a bit and turn that away. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, and we're just gonna layer color. I'm gonna start with Mango Melody. Oh, yay! Yay! Oh, that's, yay, that makes me happy that I'm teaching something new tonight. So what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna start out with Mango Melody, and I'm gonna get the right blending brush. And you're just gonna take it. Now, remember my tip, you're always going to, um, don't go directly on the um, cardstock. You wanna start off. And the fun part about this, first of all, it looks lovely with leaves. But there's also other, you can do it with flowers. Um, I just, it seems like every time I've done this technique, um, it's always been with leaves. So we're gonna layer color on. It's um, deep or intense as you want. You can keep going over it. And usually I take this first color, which is usually the lightest color, and, oh, hold on, and I put it all over the cardstock. So that's my Mango Melody. And you can see over here how dark it is. That's okay, because that's what we want. Okay, I'm gonna close this up, and I'm gonna go to Pumpkin Pie. And ink up my brush. Do the same thing. My, this almost looks like the Mango Melody. So you want to get those bold colors, but you want to have like a variation of color throughout the, the piece that you're working on. I'm going to go to Cajun Craze. Maybe that's why, did I use, that's probably why it looks similar. Oh, here we go. Let's go Cajun Craze. I'm going to go right, let's see, I'm going to go in the middle. And I kind of like, since I've been doing this, I've noticed when I first started doing it, like especially, well, I think because we didn't have blending brushes, that was probably why, um, you know, it was like little, I don't know what I used even, if I used sponges, but I try to blend out so it doesn't look like circles kind of, um, or yeah, I guess that's the right way to put, put it, um, that they the colors all kind of blend into one another. Does that make sense? I'm gonna do Old Olive. Let's start down here. And, you know, you can use whatever colors. I just pulled these out because I thought they looked pretty with, with the leaves. Okay, I'm happy with this, but it, like I said, I could, I could keep going and get more intense color, but I'm happy. So we're going to, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these out of the way and keep out my early espresso. And I'm gonna bring in the stamp that we're gonna use, which is this one, the large leaf. And I'm gonna bring in, where did I put it? Oh, oh, I know where I put it. No, I don't know where I put it. Hold on, talk amongst yourselves, girls. I just have to grab my for some more. There <laughs> we go. Let me tell ya. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping this one is inked up really well. All right, you're gonna take your, your stamp, whatever image it is, and you're gonna ink it up. Now, when, oh wait, I like to do it like this. 
and I'm going to start, I like to start in the center and work my way around. So the one thing when you're, when you're, um, you know, laying down Versamark, the hard part is, let's see if I can turn the light on. It's hard to see. That's the, kind of the, the hard part about this. But if you've got well lit, a well lit area, you won't have any trouble. Okay. Now I'm going to go work my way around. Uh, And it doesn't have to be the whole image. Like you can see, I'm just using like um, the tips of the leaf. And just re keep re-inking. I don't want to, oh, the reason it's kind of hard, I don't like it when the image, like I don't want to stamp on top. And I just realized I forgot to do something. Um, one of the, one of the things that's kind of is very important is to use your embossing buddy. It's too late now um, because it has a tendency that we're going to use clear embossing powder. It has a tendency to grab. Let's see how this turns out. That that uh, ink. There's my. There it is. I had it already. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. All right. So don't forget to use your embossing buddy. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in clear embossing powder. So you can get, um, it comes in a three pack. It's, it comes in black, white, or clear. We're going to use clear for this technique. And we're just going to layer it all over. Because I have this cool new tray. This is in the mini catalog. Um, and so I'm not worried about making a mess on my paper. And all I need to do now is lift it up. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Well, it did what, okay. So what I can see, girls, is... Um, <clears throat> It did grab, so that's not going to be pretty. Mm. Boo. Let's see if I can take my little brush and flick some off. Well, oh, there. Oh, that is working. Because, uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Crud. I should have had a backup. Well... Let's see if this will work. I'm going to take it off and then try again. The idea to use that embossing buddy, it's because that ink is wet and so that that clear embossing powder is grabbing. Let's see if I can do, let's see what will happen. This is an experiment, girls. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to take and try to go over this to see if, I, if it'll still work. If not, we might just... No, it didn't work. Oh. Well, poo. let me see if I can do, I'm going to show it and I'm going to do a quick version. It won't be as pretty, but let's see. That's why we have, I'm going to do this one more time. Thank you for your patience. Okay. I'm going to try to go quick. So you lay down the color and then you take the embossing buddy. It's nothing like live <laughs> Facebook lives. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, girls. <laughs> it really is a beautiful technique, and I want you to see it, but with it with it grabbing like that, it's not going to work. Oh, here's for the green. My camera moved. Let's 
do a little bit of Cajun. You'll get the idea. I want you to learn the technique and I want to, it is really beautiful. Okay, that looks good to me. Set these to the side, close these up, and then take the embossing buddy. Close this up. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peggy. Now take the embossing buddy, rub it all over your cardstock. So you get the, kind of dries it out and you're gonna help prevent the embossing powder from grabbing every place. Then we're gonna take our, go back to our leaf stamp. We're gonna ink it up, get out of there. Ink it in the center, use the verse mark in the center. Now we're gonna work our way around it, but like I said, this is just how I do it. It's not, you know, there are lots of different ways to do it. This is just how I like to put the whole image in the middle. It seems like when I would work my way around and uh, like not start in the center, um, it looks funny. It doesn't, uh, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't get filled out as much, so there's like empty space in the middle. One more, and then we're gonna go back and see how this turns out. All right, so I know you all probably can't see it, but I can. And the magic happens when we're gonna take and dip it into the clear embossing powder There we go, looks much better. Tap it off. And I can see a little bit on there, but not like it was. So that's how it looks now. Now I'm gonna heat, heat it up. And the nice thing about our embossing tool, or our heat tool, is that it's got two settings. So I'm just, oh, and where's my little, there's my little tweezers that came with the tray. And I just have to make sure it all melts. Sorry, it's taken, taken, taken a little bit, but it's well worth it. We um, down when we were in New Orleans. I think a question came up of you know with with. Um, demonstrators like what what made you fall in love with um, stamping up or stamping and so many demonstrators said heat embossing mine I think was um, mine was definitely the blender pens coloring with the blender pens thanks for listening or having that buzz in your ear. I know that sound is kind of obnoxious. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna set my clear embossing powder out of the way. I'm gonna take my early espresso and you're gonna cringe probably when you see this first. Okay, take it. Oh, the other thing is you wanna make sure that this is kind of cooled off. And we're gonna take my uh, early espresso and go over the top of it. And it's kind of like, oh, oh, that's all that work. And we're gonna cover up those beautiful colors. But this is where the, the beauty happens. So I'm just gonna, oh, and I went, 
when I first learned this technique, black was the color that we would put on, but um, with with it being a fall color or fall card like this, I saw another demonstrator doing and using early espresso, and I thought, I'm going to use early espresso also. So it kind of looks grungy right now. And you want to have paper towels close by because the next thing you're going to do is, after I close this up, I'm going to take a paper towel. Some people, oh, it does look like magic. Oh, Peggy, yeah, at my table, I did tell that Julie, Paper Pixie, and Lisa Curcio, along with my friend um, Ginny, um, Merck from Georgia. She was sit we kind of hung around together. So this is what you're going to do, and you're going to get all that color or uh, that espresso off of. Some people use um, they use a wet paper towel. I I don't. I prefer just to use a dry paper towel. Now, if I wanted to. I could go back in, but I think I'm I'm good with this. Now, I think probably what's happened, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's the from the embossing powder, those little flecks or not. But for the sake of time, we're gonna go with it and it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> I hope you like it. And yeah, and clean these fingers off because Otherwise, it's going to get on your um, the rest of your project. <laughs> Pull that out of the way. Now, all I have to do is bring in my Cajun Craze. Oh, and I want to show you something. I am going to stamp on this on the inside for you. I'm going to bring in early espresso. Now, remember also that. Because we're emboss, we're doing a lot of embossing. That has a kind that has a tendency to kind of warp a little bit. So you want a little extra attention by you know spreading it down and flattening it, and making making sure it's all stuck. You might want to use a little extra adhesive. And then this layer is going to get put on the cover foil. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love the copper foil. Then this. It's going to go, oh, let's see. Yeah, right on top of the, uh, the Cajun Craze card base. And then I did this ahead of time, but I'm going to show you. So um, we're going to use the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. Um, I could not decide on this what, you know, like I was trying to think. I wanted something long and skinny, so I went to the Pick a Punch. My tip for using the P Lovely Label Pick a Punch is, you know, there's um, three different widths that you can use. It's a half, three fourths, and one inch. I always recommend when you're, um, when you're using it, I cut the card stock a hair shorter than whatever um, width that I want. So that's why that 11 16th I said, um, this is 11 16th by three inches. That's just a hair shorter than three fourths. I have better, I don't know, it feels like it slides in there better. So then I wanna make sure that it's centered on the card stock. So I get, you know, even points on either side. I'm going to do the same thing. So there, this is what I'm, we were going to, we we're going to emboss on already, but I've already done the work for you. I just wanted you to show, or wanted to show you. Now the same thing, this is the copper foil. This is not quite one inches, so it's 15 sixteenths by three and one fourth. I'm going to slide it in. Snip it. Thank you. Thanks, girls. So don't throw away, like when you're 
making, you know, when you're cutting your cardstock or when you're cutting your foil, don't throw away like these skinny little scraps because you can use them for labels like this. Do you love it? I am going to bring in, so I already made, I already embossed, um, and like I said earlier, I used, love this set, the Go To Greetings. Um, there's the happy birthday that I used. So this is going to get glued down to the copper foil. And I used, oh, I used copper embossing powder too. Isn't that fancy? And then it layers right inside there so nicely. Oh, gonna get it even. Mm, come on. <laughs> okay, and then dimensionals. My, this looks awful, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see. We're going to put not minis, but big ones. Three of them. And then I want to show you. I'm not going to do it, but I am going to show you because it's already 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to take these beautiful brush metallic um, adhesive back dots, the center one that looks, um, it kind of, you can do cup, it kind of, it could be rose gold or copper. So it goes beautifully with this. Let's see where I put them on this. Thank you, Sally. All right, I'm going to put my my signature two, a big and a little, and then one down here. Ta-da! Um, I want to show you for the inside, I stamped this stamp set I love. Um, ins what is it called? Inspired Thoughts. Look at the inside! Isn't that leaf beautiful? It says it's your time to be remembered, to feel appreciated, and to know you're celebrated. My sweet honey's birthday is on Wednesday. My anniversary is tomorrow, but this is his birthday card. Don't tell him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, you want to see the other card too? Are you, oh, okay. Are you sure? It's not, it won't take very long. All right. Well, I have had a request from my dear friend, Claudia, who has a birthday tomorrow. Right, Claudia? Is that right? Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you the other card. And I hope you love it. Let me clean this off first. Claudia has a birthday tomorrow on our anniversary. Happy birthday, Claudia. Do you have any, have you done anything special? Six, ha, ha, 62, you don't look a day over 40, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one I hope you love. Um, let me put my ink pads. I love it. it I received one, um, I received something very, very similar as a swap. And so, um, and I'm so sad because I cannot, find the name of the lady who made it or the demonstrator who made it um, so that makes me sad but I just, I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna put it out there I think I'm gonna flip this over oh wait before I do if you're placing an order this week um, the this is the host code 9h. K7G37E. There's my website, kimdet.stampinup.net. If you use this code and your order is $150 uh, or, or $149.99 or less, please use this. It helps me out greatly. And then if it's $150 or more, do not use that code because you'll get the, the freebies, the Stampin' Rewards. So now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to pull out the next card. I um, received this beautiful card this from um, some wonderful demonstrator. <laughs> yay. Oh, yay. 
Well, I'll be thinking of you tomorrow, Claudia. Um, this is uh, a, a very easy card to make. Um, and it looks like to me like it, it takes a little bit, but it is so easy to make. So I used, um, I got them for free because I saw somebody on, you know, I saw something on Pinterest. These are the Aspen Tree dies. This is the die that I used to make um, my version of the card. Um, the, the stamp set that it coordinates with, which is in the mini catalog, is perched in a tree with my dimensionals. This is one that I'm like, mm, I didn't think I needed it. Although Valerie I, and Vicki Todd, if you're watching, I am a bird lover. I love watching the birds, so I, I gave in. So I'm so glad that I did. I um I first saw a card on Pinterest, um and it was not it was not this card, but it was very similar to it. And I thought these make beautiful cards, and you can do them like my card. This card that I made is with a mossy meadow card base, um but that you could put DSP behind there. It looks beautiful. I like my swap card that I showed you all in white. So um the so I got the Aspen tree dies for free and then just this week I got the perched in a tree stamp set so I want to show you these are the dies that I use this also comes with it let me get this off of here I'm not sure what kind of leaf it is but I love leaves this is what I use to cut out the uh, inside of the copper foil you also get <laughs> Oh, this stuff makes me crazy. I haven't put this on magnetic a magne magnetic sheet yet. You also get the branch. That's what that is. Um, this is the bird. And then this, I think, is like leaves, like a bu bunch of leaves. At first when I saw it, I thought, what is that? But it, I've seen demonstrators use it, and it looks like, you know, like you could cut this, you could cut it out, use copper foil, and it looks like a cluster of leaves. So that's what is in the set along with this great big one that makes this beautiful card. Um, the other die that I use, oh, here's mine. <laughs> um, the other die that I used was, um, I think this is from the Stylish Shapes. Do I have it in here? Yes, I do. The Stylish Shape dies. Love this set. This is a fantastic set of dies if you don't already have it. Um, so originally I was gonna do exactly like hers um, and put no matter the season I am here for you but this week we had a and actually it's a dear friend um, she was a stamper she came to classes Gail Vaucher passed away um, this week her husband Jean brought her for many many years to my stamp classes she's one of she was one of my um, oldest customers so this card is going to go to her husband <laughs> so I put you are in my prayers and then on the inside sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. I'm sorry, I'm getting caught, all caught up in thinking about Gail. But I needed a sympathy card, so I decided to change uh, from no matter the season I'm here for you to you are in my prayers. Thanks, guys. Um, oh, hold on. So this is an easy card. For the card base, um, you're just going to need Mossy Meadow, five and a half by eight and a half, and score it at four and one fourth. And then you're going to need two pieces. This is Sahara Sam, which I don't use very often, but this is what was on the swap card, so I decided it's beautiful. So two pieces of Sahara Sam, four inches by five and one fourth. And then you just need a piece of, this is for that banner, a Sahara Sand, one and one half to four and a half. Thanks, sure. thanks everybody. Um, <laughs> and then this is for the leaves. And where's my little, hold on, my little tab. Mossy Meadow, two and one fourth by two and three fourths. And this is for your two leaves. So that, that's it, that's your little kit. You want to take a picture of that. Um, this is the stamp set that I used, Hope and Prayer. Love this. You can imagine um, I, I get a lot of use out of this beautiful set. So 
Um, there's the you are in my prayers, the cross. If you don't, you know, if you don't have this one, you need it because it is simply beautiful. So there's that stamp set. I um, <laughs> I also used this is uh, linen. This is linen thread, and that's what I used to tie the little bow. So you need a little bit of that if you want to um, add to your your leaves. All right, I have already. Let's see. We're gonna take this. And I'm going to take my special bone. Thank you, Gina. Thanks. And happy birthday to Glenn. Gina's husband's birthday is today. Lots of birthdays this week. All right. I've already cut out. Um, I've used the Aspen die. I used my Stampin' Cut Emboss machine and cut it out. I just centered it on the 4 by 5 and 1 fourth. Um, and then, oops, I need to grab my early espresso and I just I'm not sure what um, where's the other sample I'm not sure what she used and I couldn't figure it out um, but she, you can see I don't know if she used her blends can you see the little bit of detail on there I decided to pull in the um, the early espresso again because it was sitting out so I'm just going to take this, I'm going to start on the scrap paper and just lightly go over and try to pull out some of the detail. I thought this was fun. Love these blending brushes. Love, love, love them. Oh, and look at girls. Oh, do you see what underneath here? This would make a very cool, like you use it like a stencil kind of. Isn't it awesome? right there. I did that when I was making this. I was like, oh my goodness. So you can make these as dark as you want, or you could, if someone wants to try it and use um, a blending brush and just add to these little no nooks and notches right there, that would be very cool too. All right, the next thing that I did, oh, I got a little bit of ink right there. Let's see if I can get this off. I'm using the sand eraser that I got off of Am Amazon. I love this. You can see they sit right here all the time when I have inky fingers. Okay, and you're going to laugh at this part because I really didn't want to keep you here all night long. Look what I already did. <laughs> I took and did the dimensionals because I thought I'm going to, it's going to be like watching paint dry. So I took regular uh, dimensionals as well as minis. And there's a whole lot of them, but it's worth it. I did not want it to be smushed if it's go it is going through the mail. This card or that card that I made for my friend. Um, so, go crazy with the dimensionals. You can never have too many. <laughs> and normally, I did this ahead of time. I would have um, when I was making my sample. I put the um, the ink, the early espresso on before I put the dimensionals on. All right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're right, Brenda. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know if you can, if it's picking it up. Oh, it's kind of like focusing on that, but there you can kind of see it. All right. We're going to take this. This is why it's quick and easy. This, the one thing you have to be careful of is those, all those dimensionals grab. So, be pretty sure when you're laying, putting it down, you know, you've got it in the right spot. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, let's see, did I, I don't think I did. I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to take, I've already cut that out for you. I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow ink. And I'm going to make another You Are In My Prayers because you can never have enough. Oh, look, there's a dimension back. I'm going to stamp it. Oh, be very careful. I'm going to stamp it on one side. Set this to the side. And then what I did was 
I didn't want the whole banner. I decided to make it more like a, you know, flag. So I'm just going to cut. Now one thing you want to do is cut it straight up. Let me close this. And let's see. This gets uh, straight down on the Sahara sand layer. And then I'm going to take my two leaves when I find them. Here they are. I put them in a the little baggie so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Ah, oh, gorgeous. And I put one of these up on a dimensional, I believe. And the other one is just flat behind it. Oh, no, that one on top. And then this one, oh my goodness, there's, they're going to be all over. <laughs> they multiply. Do any of you have that happen? It's like, I find them all over the house. Okay, that one just has stamp and seal on the back of it, and it's going to be tucked like that. Then I'm going to take the linen thread, and I think I'm going to take about six inches. Yes, Peggy, exactly. That is exactly what I was thinking. If you've got some of that beautiful horizon paper, oh, you could tuck it behind there. Okay, I'm doing the bunny ear bow thing. Because that's the only one. Oh, my fingers aren't going to work. Two loops. Oh, my goodness. Two loops. I should have cut it longer. And, and then I tuck one of the loops into the hole. I should have made my, my linen thread longer. Or I could have had this pre-done. Ah, thank you for sticking around longer, guys. I appreciate you. There we go. All right, and then, oh, sweet little bow. I take, uh, I took a, um, uh, mini glue dot and if I can find where my oh gosh it's time to tear there we go it's time to tear off some of that okay I'm just gonna pick it up with my fingernails my fancy fingernails and what I like to do is just kind of roll it up so you can see it right there I'm just gonna roll it and stick it on the back And then it's going to go right there. And then I'm going to snip the ends. So easy. These would make beautiful Christmas cards. With that, I might have to do that. All right. And then I'm not going to stamp it for you, but I am going to just show you once again that inspired thoughts. Um, sheltering you with love at a time when words fall sh short. I use this stamp set all of the time. If you don't have a word stamp set, get yourself inspired thoughts because it's got birthday, sympathy, it's got some Christmas on there, congratulations, thank you, this is Forget Well, sending healing thoughts your way. It's an awesome stamp set. So here we go. There's my uh, two cards for tonight. I'm going to flip the, uh, oh, you just got the Aspen tree dies. Yay. Yes. Oh, thank you. And I ha I, that just went past really fast, but I did see. I have seen Halloween cards made out of this as a spooky background. You're absolutely right. So versatile. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to flip it around. Here we go. Thanks, everyone. It's good to be back. I um, I uh, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for staying on longer and seeing two cards tonight, plus a whole lot of swaps and hearing me uh, gab about my trip. Um, it was wonderful. So, thank you very much. Thanks. I um, if you have any questions, um, 
just don't hesitate to comment below or if you want to send me a text or give me a call, I, I'd love to talk to you. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy Labor Day for all of, the, all of you who have the day off work, Rick and I do, so we're going to spend it together um, and, and celebrate. So celebrate. We were married 41 years. How did that happen? <laughs> and Miss Jill, oh my goodness, Jill had her 50th wedding anniversary. So happy belated 50, 50 uh, years to you, Jill. All right. Thank you. Happy birthday, Claudia. All right. God's blessings. Bye-bye.